Coca-Cola Share Coke campaign is by far their most successful marketing stunt ever. By simply printing names on their products, Coke managed to end a decade-long sales decline and increase their revenue by $12.9 billion in just two years. So, how did this effortless tactic completely change the trajectory of Coca-Cola's company? To answer that, we need to travel back to 2011 a time when Coke was facing a massive problem. At the time, teens and young adults alike weren't drinking Coca-Cola. More specifically, they weren't drinking it because they thought the brand was outdated and didn't resonate with it as much as older people. This was most apparent in Australia, where in August of 2010, half of their young adult population had never tasted a Coke. With that shocking statistic in mind, the Australian Coca-Cola team started brainstorming ideas to get teens back on Coke. They wanted to accomplish two things with their idea. First, increase sales of Coca-Cola among young consumers, and second, bring the brand closer to Australia's young adults. After doing extensive research, they realized there was a massive opportunity for growth among millennials through their branding and digital presence. These young adults were now living in a digital world, and if these types of consumers perceive Coca-Cola as outdated, then refreshing their brand image and adapting to the digital world these consumers were living in was vital to their success. And so, Coca-Cola mapped out a strategic plan to reconnect with young Australians. And that plan was for them to share a Coke. The backbone of their plan involved changing the labels on every single product they sold. Every can and bottle of Coca-Cola would have their traditional logo replaced with share a Coke with, followed by one of the 150 most popular names in Australia, which accounted for about 42% of their entire population. This small tweak in theory would encourage millennials to not only be excited about finding their name on a Coke product, but also share that product on social media to their friends. On top of that, Coca-Cola planned an extensive effort to set up 18 kiosks across malls in Australia, where young adults could print custom cans of Coke with their names on them, further promoting the idea to share their personalized products with friends online. Furthermore, their efforts to reach millennials extended beyond their physical products, including ads in newspapers, on TV, on buses, with influencers, and most notably billboards. These digital billboards allowed viewers to text the name of themselves or their friends to Coca-Cola, and Coke would take that name and update their billboards in real time to show the name on a virtual Coke can. And this this idea, once again, promoted viewers to share their customized billboards online to their friends. And so, with their genius plan mapped out, Coca-Cola was more eager than ever to reconnect with Australia's young adults. But it turned out, their elaborate plan came with many roadblocks. In order to execute a plan of this magnitude, Coca-Cola had to redesign their entire company workflow. From the marketing team to the legal team, design team, product team, and more, every department of Coke needed to communicate effectively and be on their A-game. And if that didn't happen, their whole plan would crumble. But Coke wasn't ready to go down without a fight. Thousands of employees were assigned new rules for the campaign that were clear and concise. The legal team investigated copyright rules. The design team created new looks for the labels. The operating team had to figure out how to print millions of unique labels on cans and bottles. All while the marketing team updated all of them about new plans and ideas. While this entirely new process was daunting to them, every single employee pushed through and eventually, the Share It Coke campaign was ready for launch. After 4,000 hours of talking to stakeholders, 225 trademark searches, 2,300 original artwork designs, and so much more, Coca-Cola launched their campaign in the summer of 2011. And that summer ended up being a very special time for Australians. In alliance with Coke's plan, millennials fell in love with the idea to share a Coke. The excitement of finding their names on Coke products and sharing them with friends ignited a multi-million person movement that eventually made headlines lines onto late night shows, news outlets, and more. And along with the media buzz, every aspect of Coca-Cola's plan was being perfectly executed. Their kiosks had hour long lines, thousands of people were taking pictures of billboards, and millions of personalized Coke bottles were flying off shelves. In less than a year after the launch of the campaign, Coca-Cola saw a 7% increase in consumption among Australia's millennials, and more than 250 million customized Coke products were sold, averaging over 10 bottles per Australian. But of course, increasing sales was just one goal Coca-Cola had in mind. Did they bring the brand closer to young adults? Well, taking a quick look at their online performance says it all. In less than a year, over 500,000 photos were shared on social media with hashtag share Coke, 76,000 of which were Coca-Cola's own billboards. Their Facebook page saw a fresh 25 million people follow them, and Coke's website traffic increased by 870%. It goes without saying that the magic that the share Coke campaign created in Australia was unstoppable. 
so much so that it expanded beyond the entire country. Over 70 other countries were quick to embrace the love for sharing a Coke, each of which had their 250 most popular names printed on Coke's products. And unsurprisingly, the campaign worked flawlessly in every single country. Over the years after it originally launched, the Share Coke campaign generated over 1 billion impressions online and became the number one global trending topic on social media. And of course, Coca-Cola sold a lot of Coke. From before the campaign started in 2010 to the peak of it in 2012, Coca-Cola saw a $12.9 billion increase in revenue, completely wiping out the 10-year-long sales slump they endured before. It's impressive how fast share of Coke became a cultural phenomenon, but it's arguably more impressive how Coke revolutionized their ads during Christmas time. To see how they did that, check out this video on how Coke used Santa Claus to make themselves an icon during the holidays.